Hermosa and I am a registered dietitian with General Mills, um, Bell Institute of Health and Nutrition. And we're here at the uh, Wheat Food Council Urban Wheat Field and teaching um, everyone here about the value of grains um, and wheat uh, when it came to the So this right here is a graphic of, that represents the recommendations relative to grain. So the recommendations say that we should be getting about half of our grains from whole grain. So on the um, left hand side, this is the what a nutrition facts panel of what an and this is an example of what an enriched white bread um, would be. So at the very top, we're looking at um, the serving size, which is two slices of that particular product. And then if you scroll down, you can see the you know for example. Um, the nutrients that are found in, the, in, the, in this particular product, such as folic acid. One of the values of um, enriched grains um, and is the fact that it's fortified with folic acid, and folic acid um, is a nutrient that's known to reduce the risk of neural tube defects, so it's really important for um, women of childbearing age to be consuming uh, uh, folic acid. And, um, and so, the difference where you find what product is enriched and what product is whole grain is basically sort of like looking at the ingredient list at the very bottom, where right here the first ingredient says it's enri enriched wheat flour, versus if you go here to the to the right side um, and scroll down to what the ingredient, the first ingredient, it says whole wheat flour. So you know that this product actually is um, made with whole grain because it contains, it has whole grain as the first ingredient. Um, also, again, to the Nutrition Facts panel, um, we know that calories are important. It's important to um, consume the right number of calories for uh, the level of physical activity that you have as well as your um, age and um, um, gender. So, um, so one of the things that the Nutrition Facts panel tells us is how many calories um, this um, serving of a particular product, in this case whole wheat bread, would have, which so one slice would provide 100 calories.